So let's take a moment to review what we've learned today about the DDoS mitigation for your game servers. In the world of denial of service, the trajectory has grown considerable, and it's only going to get bigger and worse. The number of game servers that were attacked, even recently, have grown exponentially. And these are ways that there have been disruption to where users that want to play your game can't access it because of a flood of data that prevents the server from being able to respond back to regular playing users. And this is a really big problem because if your users can't play your game, they're going to go do something else. But DDoS mitigation is actually very difficult to enable. First, it's quite complex. And you have to provision enough bandwidth to actually handle taking an attack. And then, of course, you have to re-architect some of your application to be able to handle what to do in these when these occur. And then, of course, there's a manual involvement, such as an operator needs to do something when an attack is occurring, and then being able to reroute that traffic via distance scrubbing on the location. And then, of course, there's that increased time to mitigate. Plus, it's expensive to use. These aren't just simple solutions that you just drop in and hope they do everything you need to. And that's why we have our approach to DDoS mitigation. Today, just by using any of the AWS services, you have standard protection, and it's at no additional cost. One of the benefits is that the DDoS protection is built into AWS. This means that it's already integrated into our global infrastructure. It's always on, fast mitigation without external routing. And the redundant internet connectivity in AWS data centers ensures that the communication can always flow through to your servers. But then you think, my game servers need extra UDP-based DDoS protection, which is true. When you're playing fast-paced games and things of that nature that use a UDP payload, it's actually a problem if you get flooded. This is where Shield Advance comes into play off of EC2. It helps provide the extra protection so that your UDP-based games are not interrupted. Some of the AWS Shield Advance features include additional detection and monitoring, visibility into attack detection and mitigation, AWS WAF at no additional cost, a 24 by 7 DDoS response team, and cost protection that will absorb the DDoS scaling cost if an attack were to occur. So what we've learned today is that DDoS is actually very important for how your games and your players actually respond. If you take an attack, your players may not want to stick around to find out what happened. By leveraging AWS DDoS protection and shield, you'll actually be able to continue serving your customers without any interruption to their game.